Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Tuesday Tip, where in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we prep the trails to ride here at Apple Creek Trails. So we've got the uphill line here. It is all covered with carpets. We keep these carpets on here to save extra work from having to be done when it rains and things like that, and it's super dry and sunny, and things just fall apart if you let the weather get to them. So, I'm gonna show everybody how we get these things going. So if you come here and ride, you know what exactly to do. And maybe if you have some trails and you wanna figure out how to prep them or anything along those lines, you'll have a better idea of a way to do it. This is not the only way to do it. This is how we do it here at Apple Creek. Because of the dirt that we have, we do things this way. So without any further delay, I'm gonna show you first how we uncover stuff starting with this lip here it's super easy basically what you're doing is that you're starting at the bottom rolling it up into the most small roll that you can all the way up and then i'll show you on another one as well to show you exactly what we do so first thing actually is i'm going to kick off a couple of these small walnuts and i'm just going to start the carpet rolling as small as i can and just push it up now you might recognize that you kind of have to walk up the lip to do this. So I will get as wide of a stance as I can and then push it up the lip. And this one actually coming down, which can happen. And if that's the case, you gotta walk it up. Restore this one up here off to the side so it's out of the way, but the others are a little bit different. So let me show you an example using this third one. So down here, it's exactly the same as the other one where you roll it as tightly as you can all the way to the top. But the difference is once you get it to the top here, we literally just push it into the middle and usually you'll be pushing from the middle of it so it won't fall at an angle but that puts it in a spot that makes it much easier to cover things back up whenever you're done. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing for all the rest of these jumps. And then we will go into how you water, then brew. Finishing with how you cover them back up. And now comes the part where we water these jumps. It has been extremely dry here in Ohio. And even if it wasn't super dry like it has been, these jumps would still need watered because the moisture on the lips and the landings is what keeps them together while we're riding. You land, it's an impact, and that impact can create craters. <laughs> so we look at the lips and landings and we know that we need to water them so that everything stays together. Now, wherever you're riding at, probably has its own method of getting water. Here at Apple Creek, we literally go from uphill here, through this walking path here, down to the creek, using watering cans that should be sitting beside the jumps, and we fill up the watering cans using the creek. Very easy and yeah, not much more to say about this. So let's fill the watering cans and then show you how to actually water. And there is actually somewhat of a tip to talk about here as well. Just in that if you don't find a deep enough spot in the creek, you can't really fill the watering can all the way. Depending upon how many you have, you want to take the least amount of trips possible. So I just add water from one into another to completely fill it up. Then fill this one as much as I can again. And that way we have the most amount of water we can get. So now let's head back to the jumps and show you exactly the watering technique. All right, so the idea here is to get even coverage over the whole lip. So a lot of people I'll see just go like this and think that it's good, but no, 
that doesn't do a whole lot and it's not going to sustain the moisture in anything. What you gotta do and what you wanna do is just try to get even coverage and you'll notice the water starts dripping down so I stop for a second, let it go because we don't wanna cause a puddle at the bottom. That makes riding have to wait for longer. So we just multiple times here getting even coverage. You see that I missed a couple spots, didn't get the full top. So we go back and do that and it's super dry. So I'm just adding a bunch of water to this just so we don't have to water a ton today. And you see the water coming down. It's gonna happen. And then at the bottoms, I'll just shake the can and bring it out like this to water. And then we do that all the way through, let it sit for a second before we broom. So let's do that now. So we got everything watered. And one thing I wanted to say First, sorry if there's wind noise. The second is that we also water the transitions here between the landings and the lips. Because if you don't water these, they will fall apart, especially if there's any kind of breaks involved and people not like getting warmed up for the jumps and not hitting all of them and stopping and cutting off. Things can get tore up if it's super dry. So we water everything here. You can see the moisture in that, but after watering comes brooming. And this is a concept that I honestly didn't like fully grasp until this year or last year in that you're not just brooming the dry dust like this at the bottom. You're not just brooming that off or up the, the lips and the landings. You're using that dry dust and some of the dirt like, like this over here that, that becomes moist dirt. You're brooming that up to fill these cracks you're trying to fill these cracks in so that they can be as smooth as possible. So I'm gonna get a close up on this and try to explain as I do it. It's pretty simple, but you're kind of using the broom as a little bit of a shovel per se. You'll see what I mean. So I've enlisted some help filming here, showing exactly what we're doing. So we're taking this dirt from the bottom, like I was saying, and we're brooming it up. And if you could get super close here on like these cracks, like to the point where they're macro filming and then just like follow the broom up to it where you've got the dirt coming up and you see I'm pushing up but also like clapping the broom down and it fills those cracks in without having to use a shovel or dig. So rather than just going, oh, we're brooming off the top of the jump, we're taking this loose dirt from the bottom Filling in cracks with the broom and making it as smooth as it can possibly be. And this one's a pretty good example of that because you can see how all these cracks are filled in now, whereas before they were just cracks. They were like getting to be a quarter inch deep there. And depending upon how uh, depending upon how severe things are, you can use this method to literally fill little holes like craters in your lip if you water it enough and broom some moist dirt up on there without having to use a shovel at all especially in a condition like where it's super dry like this where you literally like, can't use a shovel you have to either water it a ton to use a shovel or figure out a different way and i just kind of in the past couple years caught on to the importance of this and it works really really well if you do it right so once again Brooming that dirt up and then just pushing, being thoughtful about where I'm putting the, the broom down, like right on that crack to pack the dirt into it, push more up and pack in another spot. And it just packs that loose dirt into those cracks and makes things as smooth as they can be in a much quicker way as well than uh, using a shovel. So I'm gonna set up a tripod, I'll go through and broom these and then they'll be ready to ride. One thing I also forgot to mention in that explanation is that this whole step is why I haven't groomed any of the stuff out of the transitions yet either because 
I'm gonna use some of that dirt there. And after I've broomed everything out, then we don't have any loose dirt to broom up into the cracks and craters that need to get filled. So that is the last thing. I broom everything up onto the lips and landings, get them smoothed out, then broom out the transitions so that everything is smooth. There's nothing in there that we have to worry about running over. And we still have that loose dirt that we need to do this step. So I'm gonna go through, do all of this, show this one, time lapse. This one's pretty straightforward. It doesn't really need a whole lot. It stays pretty good, but we gotta go through the rest of them and make them all super straight. And then another thing too that I could explain is like you can see down here it's a little bit darker than the rest of that. That's because the water pooled up here. You can take dry dirt from the sides and put it into those spots and just broom back and forth. And that dry dirt will absorb the moisture, absorb the moisture and make it a little bit quicker of a process than just letting it dry. All right, and we got everything broomed here. So here's a look at this first lip. After brooming the rest of them, everything is super smooth now compared to like with the little cracks and things that you will feel when you're riding, this brooming step makes it a lot smoother. And with that being said, we are now ready to ride. And the only thing I would say as far as, you know, like watering again or anything like that is if you notice it getting really dry and you notice things starting to crack and maybe some dirt starting to fall down lips or landings, and it looks like it did when you first watered it, then that might mean it's time to water and broom again. And sometimes when it's really dry, you just have to do that to maintain these jumps and not have to dig on them as much as you, you might if you didn't water them. So with that being said, the next step after you ride is to cover them back up. And that is also very simple. If it doesn't rain here, by the end of our session, I will film putting a couple carpets back on to show you, but it's, very simple as well so just in case it does rain and we are out of here in a hurry and covering things as fast as possible basically if this is the carpet for this lip it's already in the orientation it needs to be in to go back on there the way it came off because you just rolled it up pushed it over so you lift it up put this part of the carpet back here put the roll right on top of the lip or the landing and yes this needs filled in i know it needs dug on but it's been so dry haven't really been able to do it fully. But anyways, you put that roll on top of there and then you just push the rest of it down. And then if it's not centered or it's not perfectly flat on there, you'll want to fix that. But for the most part, that's pretty simple. And then you do the same thing on the other ones and you just make sure that there's enough carpet overlapping the back of the lip or landing that you don't have it blowing off in the wind or just falling down it. All right, so we're wrapping up the session here today. I wanna to show you guys how to cover the jumps now. I explained it a little bit, but I'm gonna actually show you. So, we got the carpets over here. They're all rolled up and over the way that I explained earlier, so that you can take the carpet, set it onto the lip or the landing, make sure that you've got some hanging over so it doesn't just fall and like all the way fall down and you literally just roll the carpet down make sure that it's flat and uh, not like rippled in any way flatten out the best you can and it's pretty much that simple you do that for everything that you uncovered and make sure that it just looks exactly the way that it did before 
you uncovered it. So yeah, that's the process of prepping trails to get them ready for riding, specifically here at Apple Creek Trails. Other places might do it different, but this is how we do it. And if you come here and ride and I'm not here, John's not here, there's nobody here, then this is how we would like you to do it as well. And we appreciate it if you did that. And hopefully this helped you in your journey of trails. If you don't come here and ride, and maybe you just were looking for a little bit of like how somebody does this, here's how we do it. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit me up. Let's ride trails. And we'll see ya here. Goodbye.